So Mitch, welcome back to Fright Fest. Uh, Million Days has just screened on the super screen. Um, how did it look? How was the uh, how was the reaction? I mean, the reaction was good. Um, audience laughed in the right places. Not exactly the most light-hearted of films. Um, it was it was fabulous to actually see it on such a big screen. And what, this is not the first time that you've had a film in Fright Fest. What does it mean to you to get a film into Fright Fest? Well, I think with any filmmaker, to actually get into a festival, period, is pretty bloody difficult. And, um, and once you're in, um, you know, it's a real privilege. So to come back for my third time, it's, um, it's pretty special. And we've spoken before about the, uh, the, how this film has almost become outdated in a way. You know, this is set in 2041 with the AI, and the AI is just getting ahead of us, you know. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks. Uh, you know, are we even closer to the end of the world now? Um, I think we are. <laughs> um, no, I'm joking. Um, I think we are two weeks further down the line in understanding, or is it in, we're in the um, presidential debate? the uh, the um, GOP two nights ago and one of the front runners is now being sort of like called out for using chat GB whatever it is to sort of like write his um, write his screenplay not his screenplay his script so it is just escalating the very fact that you know you've got politicians who want to be presidents can't even write their own bloody script um, so no it's it's getting out of hand so fast so what point does a million days go from being a piece of fiction to a documentary? Oh, bloody great question. Um, I think at the moment it's still a piece of fiction, but if they hold the release back for two or three years, I think it will be a documentary. That's, that's really not long. Um, and what other projects have you working on? You know, what, what other future events are you going to predict? Um, I'm, well, actually, I'm going back in time. I'm doing a, a brother and sister punk rock road trip, 1977, from Glasgow going down to uh, London to see the first and only Sex Pistols gig in 1977. And it's just the journey of these guys going down, set against the backdrop of the political situation in 1977. So that's my next one. And then the other one I'm writing is Thuggy, and that is a, a thriller set in India. I wish you best of luck with this release and with the future films as well. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.